Hey guys, today we're taking a look at a game called Super Blue Fighter. This is a retro-styled action arcade game, and it's a load of fun. It's very simple, but it's a lot of fun. So <laughs> we're just going to get straight into it. I'm going to be playing with a controller. You can play with keyboard, mouse, or a controller. I like playing with a controller. Um, so I'm this blue guy in the middle of the screen. I guess it's going to be kind of hard to tell <laughs> because everything is kind of small. But as you can see, there are green and red robots. Um, in the background, there's some green stars, which means I need to go through and punch all the green robots. So just punch all the green robots, and that will clear stage one. So now it's round two, and as you can see, the stars have changed. Now they're red, so I need to punch the red robots. If I punch the wrong color robots, I'll lose health, and I'll take damage. And I can kind of show you that right now. See, so yeah, I just took some damage, I lost a heart. You also get bombs, you can use bombs to destroy enemies as well, but bombs are mainly used later on whenever you uh, encounter other enemies that can actually shoot you and kill you. So let me just go through these first few levels, and then we'll get to the good parts. So here's the first enemy, he's kind of just following me around. If he catches up to me, he will hurt me, so I just need to avoid him. Later on, there'll be a lot more enemies that will uh, be a nuisance, but you can always use bombs to take them out. So pretty much every round, I'm just looking at the background, at the stars, to see which colored robots I need to kill. And sometimes they're the same color, so you have to be careful not to uh, alternate. There's a new enemy that was following me. This enemy right right here, he'll spawn more robots. See, he just spawned another red guy. Well, that's okay. He doesn't spawn very often. Do. So I guess I can use a bomb. Those guys, they also <laughs> use bombs. So you have to kind of uh, stay away from the bombs because they have a very large splash radius. But it's a very casual, little simple arcade style game. Like, I feel like this type of game would be great for like arcade machines. Alright, now I get the green guys. Very simple, but I don't know, it's fun. You also get combos and points for taking out multiple enemies at the same time with bombs and so forth. You mainly just try to stay alive and get as far as you can. And with each level, there's more enemies and more um, robots you have to kill. There we go. Round 17. Oop, I just got hit there. Ultra combo. I only have one heart left, so I need to be kind of careful now. The bomb guys are the main the main way I take damage, just because the blast radius of the bombs are kind of tricky to figure out. There's a heart down here. Sweet. It lasts a little bit longer. Not sure what this does. Give me something. I'm not sure what. Oh, I think it cleared all the enemies on the stage. All right, now it's red. Whoa! I thought I would take damage there. It just pushed me aside. One more. There we go, round 21. Two more red guys. Or actually, I think it just gave me 10 points. That's what those little potion looking things look like, or give me. All right. Red. It's such a simple little game, but it's a load of fun. Like, it's it's a joy to play, even though it's so simple. And you can also slow down time, I forgot to mention. If I hold the B button, I can make everything really slow, and... Oops, I just ran into the wrong colored guy. <laughs> I was wondering how I was taking damage. But I can make things go slow, and it makes things a little bit easier if things are getting a little too hectic for you. And I keep running into the red guys. I keep forgetting that it's green. 
All right, green. Red. I'm just gonna keep saying the colors out loud. It helps me remember. Green. Ultra combo. Oh, I just got hit. Just a bunch of heart pickups. That's good. Whoa, there's a lot of enemies. Ultra combo. Okay, now it's red. Oh, man, I got hit. Ouch. And there's the high scores. So that's pretty awesome. I'll try to get on the high scores. Get the red guys. Score 500. Got an achievement. Alright. Now it's green. Okay, I figured out what those little potions are. Sometimes the little vials are green and sometimes they're red. You have to pick up the red ones on red levels and green ones on green levels. God, there's so many enemies. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a huge kill here. Bam! Ultra combo. And done. Let's run around 30 already. Sweet. We'll probably go for about 10 minutes or so. Uh, I'm not sure how far I can actually make it. <laughs> I haven't really played this far. I think the last time I played I got to around like round 15 before just uh, restarting. Oh, I lost all my hearts. I might actually lose here. Oops, picked up the wrong color again. Red. 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 Red, red, red. Oh, there's a heart. Sweet. Red again. It gives you plenty of pickups. Like, I think it gives you a little bit too many, like, to be honest. Like, it makes the game feel a little bit too easy. But then again, it's just for fun, so I, I like it. Oh, crap. Okay, green. It's going through punching all these robots. My little minion looking guy. Green, green, green. There we go. Red. Got another achievement, getting a score of 750. I forgot what the high score, uh, the high scores were. I think it's really high, like up to like 13,000 maybe. I don't know. I couldn't imagine playing for that long. Ultra combo. Crap. Pushed me into the wrong color. Okay, now it's red. Oh crap. Alright, now it's red again. Ultra combo. I got another achievement. Ultra combo times 10. Alright, red. I might try to get the wave 50, and then I'll, I'll probably call it quits. There's a red vial, got 10 points. And then I accidentally ran into the green robot. I'm out of, I'm out of uh, hearts. Be careful. Oh, and I died. Game over, so I got a score of 942.
Pretty sure I could have done way better. Let's see. The top high score is 14,000. Man, that must have taken ages. It doesn't even show me, it just shows the top 15 people. But that's cool anyway. So yeah, that's just a quick look at Super Blue Fighter, a really fun little arcade game. Um, if you are interested in this game yourself, I'll put a link to the Steam store page in the description below, and I hope you guys have a great day.